Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can create this energy blast effect and a morphing transition from one object to another. This was done in After Effects, so let's get started. First let's see how this was shot. I used a practical light on set, which lights up at the moment of the energy blast. I had two shots, one with a toy and a second one with a real dog. In both shots I used the practical blue light. Also always shoot a clean plate. Since I wanted to keep it simple, I shot everything on a tripod. Now let's jump into After Effects. Here I have the shots on the timeline and I put the one with the toy on the top. First I made a quick mask to cover the real dog with the toy. And feathered it out a bunch. I synchronize the shots so that the blue light lights up at the same time in both shots. Now let's work on the transition. Duplicate the toy layer and remove the original mask. Create a detailed mask around the toy and move the anchor point to the bottom of the object so that it scales up based on the position of that point. Create a quick scale animation matching the scale of the real dog. Next duplicate the layer with the real dog and move it to the top of the layer pile. Again create a detailed mask around the dog. And animate the scale, but this time we want to make it scale up, first matching the scale of the toy. Then animate the opacity of this layer to go from 0 to 100% and do the same for the toy layer but reversed, so from 100 to 0%. Of course it doesn't look very smooth at the moment, but we'll cover it up with a bunch of effects. Let's try adding some displacement at the moment of the transition. For this I used various shockwaves, these are from Video Copilot, that I used as displacement maps. So I brought it to the timeline and set the blending mode to screen to get rid of the black background. However, the way a displacement map works is it ignores everything that's grey and displaces the brighter and darker areas. So we need to either pre-compose the shockwave and add a grey solid in the background, or in normal blending mode we can use the solid composite effect and set the color to grey. Then I pre-composed the shockwave, turned off the visibility and created a new adjustment layer. Add the displacement map effect to this adjustment layer and choose the shockwave pre-comp as the displacement map. As you can see we get some black pixels, but we can fix this by extending the edges of our main shot. I use the repetile effect set to unfold. Later I'll play with the timing and add a lot more of these shock waves, but let's focus on the object morphing for now. I added the Venetian blinds effect to the dog layer and a couple of glows with different settings. I've also used the puppet pin tool to match the shapes of the two objects during the transition more closely. Next I set the blending mode of the dog layer to add. Then I copied the same effects to the toy layer as well. You can see the original toy in the background during the transition, so I just used the clean plate to cover that area while the transition is happening. Now we have something like this. Before we continue, I would like to quickly mention Envato elements. 
and Watto Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that, this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Let's take a look at the laser beam that shoots from the sci-fi device. I used Saber which is a free plugin from Video Copilot. There are a bunch of presets that you can fully customize. For the core type I used layer masks. So basically you create a mask with a pen tool and then you can also easily animate it. Apart from that you can animate the start and end offset values to create an impact. Next I kept adding more shockwave displacements and I decided to add these little energy circles on the device, again with a saber effect. Now to emphasize the light, I used a blue solid and set the blending mode to add. Then I simply created a feathered mask around the area where I want the light to be present and animated the opacity. Additionally, I added some smoke and dust particles during and after the transition. Then it's just a matter of refining the details and adding more little elements to sell the effect. Finally, I topped everything off with a fake camera movement and a shake at the moment of the energy blast. Also, don't forget to enable the motion blur. And well, we are done. I hope you found this useful and if you did, please like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.